So another day, another project. Um, this one's going to be a bit of a, a pain. I figured I'd get one of these fancy shower heads. It's, uh, I don't know, we'll see it after we get it out of the package. But got the hose, you can take it down. And this will be great. This is kind of the back, uh, extra bathroom. And kids take a bath back here. They're so small they don't use the shower, but we do wash the dogs back here. Uh, you know, give them baths. So it'd be nice to be able to pull this down and actually spray them off. You know, but if you get a bigger dog and you're trying to splash water up underneath in a bathtub, it makes it a bit of a challenge. Um, this is going to weigh significantly more than a regular shower head, and as you can see, I've already got my old shower head off. And this is where the problem comes in. Of course, I knew this. Uh, this has been loose since we bought the house. They obviously, uh, in the back there, there's this elbow, and it should have a support board and should be ideally screwed. Uh, oftentimes, they're just nailed. But it looks like they didn't attach it at all. And we know this bathroom probably didn't originally have a shower. So this was an add-in. Uh, the proper way to fix this would be to get in the wall back here, uh, which is really going to be back behind this closet. Um, and you'd really have to dig around in there to get to it because they nailed in the shelves. So that would be quite a bit of work. I don't want to do it right now. Um, if we remodel the shower later, the bathroom later. Uh, of course, and then at that point, we would have easy access to fix this the right way. So I started thinking of what are some ways I could approach fixing this, and I came up with a few ideas. Uh, what I thought would be most ideal is something kind of like this. Um, this is a cast iron pipe. Uh, this one's galvanized coated, but basically old black iron pipe flange. Um, four mounting screws and it's actually threaded for the pipe there. Not necessarily this, but something like this, a flange that screws to the wall. And what I really hoped for was a set screw coming in the side here uh, to fit on that pipe and hold it. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find anything like that made. Uh, this is going to be a bit loose around the pipe. So I thought maybe uh, if I could find something that did have a set screw, I set the set screw that would hold it tight and keep that in place, um, so not really ideal. One of the other options, if there's a PEX pipe used, the new plastic. This is one of the many styles of us behind the wall supports. And I thought, well, if I could cut that hole out a bit, sink that in there and attach it here, clamping force there might be sufficient to hold it. Um, but that's going to require taking out a significant amount of drywall here and weakening that quite a bit. And I'm only going to have two anchor points. Um, so again, not real ideal. Uh, it doesn't quite fit the diameter of the shower pipe elbow. So I ended up coming back to this idea. And what I think I'll do is probably take some JB Weld uh, and just use that. It's basically an epoxy to epoxy the pipe up here to this flange, and I'll use some drywall anchors to hold here. Um, just no good way that I could find. One of the other thoughts I had in addition to that was a stabilizer bar. I'm sure you've probably seen them in fancier industrial style, industrial look. Uh, not sure what the fashion term is. Postmodern industrial, maybe, you know, that are nice and clean, stainless everything, concrete floor type houses. So basically just a steel rod that comes at an angle and then clamps. And if I could do the two of those together, that would be really great. Uh, but I really couldn't find anything like that at any of the big box stores, the small hardware stores. So I'm going to go with the flange. Um, I kind of ran around some other ideas. Uh, looked at this is my, you know really meant for more an industrial in the wall uh, pipe support hanger, you know something like that. Again, that's not quite tight enough um, and then I have the same problem of how do I hide that so this is your typical uh, you know cover and of course it's going to be difficult to cover that it's not very deep I'm going to have the same problem either way with either one of these two uh, it's just not big enough to cover it so any big rings that I could find were way too big center holes. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to use that to cover, and I'm going to drop all the parts and pieces and chip the tub. 
uh, and then I'm going to put this on top and make a two-piece cover and I think at least for the moment that'll work and then hopefully if we uh, remodel this bathroom then it'll be a non-issue anyway so I'm gonna get to work here I, I've got four holes to drill there to kind of get this ready I'm gonna put in my drywall anchors just kind of have some standard drywall anchors, you know, in the package. I'm going to drill a hole, I'm going to put the plastic anchor in. I'm going to get it ready to go, and have my JV weld ready to go. Since this is smooth chrome, and you're not going to see this piece back here, I'm going to take probably some emery cloth, which is, uh, you know, like a fine 150 grit sandpaper, uh, thin strip that you use for polishing, uh, automotive or, or mechanical type stuff, uh, bearing surfaces and such. Uh, fine sandpaper will work fine too, since I've got emery cloth I'm going to use that. And I'm going to rough this up so that that putty or that uh, JV weld can stick. Uh, I might as well go ahead and show you that. Uh, this is kind of the original JV weld two part epoxy. Uh, bonds to almost anything. Gasoline, maybe diesel are about the only things that will really eat it. It really holds up to water. I don't know that it sits underwater, but uh, holds up to about anything else. Unfortunately, it's a two-part epoxy. It's kind of like a gel, um, not really a putty. And so sitting vertically here, I'm sure that's going to run out before it cures. Uh, they do have an actual putty, kind of more like a dough, and you knead this together to, to mix the two parts and we've got just a few minutes of working time to get it set and then it sets up pretty well and uh, this says it cures in an hour versus I think the original two-part epoxy uh, non-putty uh, takes about 24 hours to fully cure you know it's pretty well hardened in a couple hours but uh, you know actual cure time for the older style is a bit longer um, this isn't quite as strong as the original two-part 900 psi working strength that would be more than plenty uh, I know those the drywall anchors aren't going to hold that much, and certainly this little thin elbow piece of pipe is not going to hold that much either. So, uh, unless the boys try to do, you know, uneven bars back here with the shower bar behind me or hang from this, I, I don't think that this is going to be uh, a weak spot. You know, the drywall is definitely going to go first, so I think that will be plenty strong enough. So I've got a piece of emery cloth. Um, this is 180 grit. We well, typically find this, uh, of course, on Amazon. Some of the parts stores used to have it. It may not be brown or purple. Uh, I had a roll that was blue at one point, but it usually comes on a roll. And uh, it's wet dry, it's more of a cloth backing than a paper. Uh, not really important here, but it's a, you know, it usually comes with just a couple grits, but perfect for something like this. Uh, typically, you use it uh, if you're doing a sealing surface on a you know car, truck, tractor, whatever, uh, axle shaft, something like that. You use something like this to smooth it up. And I'm just going to take this really just enough to rough up that surface on the pipe where that JV weld is going to be. Uh, because I know it's not going to appear uh, polished chrome particularly well. Uh, what I don't want to do is really scratch this pipe up outside further out than that cover is going to hide. I don't want to wiggle on this so much that I break the pipe loose in the wall back there either because then the thing of opening up the wall that I was hoping to avoid, I would end up having to do if I do break that pipe back there. I really don't know if they're in flexible PEX or if it's just a copper line sticking over. I really don't know what's back there. Um, the PEX would probably handle a little more flexing versus the copper would be more prone to kink. Have the polished chrome there is uh, a little bit difficult to rough up. Okay, I think that'll work well enough. So next thing we got to do is drill these holes for the drywall anchors, and I've got the holes marked already when I held the bracket up there, and I've got my bit in.
concern I really have about this approach is that this is a bathroom. It's uh, quite a bit more humid than the rest of the house. So I know this drywall has been exposed to a lot of humidity. Uh, this drywall may be very weak and brittle. Uh, so this may not hold well at all long term, but we'll see. You know, if it, if it buys me time until we get around to really wanting to get serious about a remodel. And I think that'll work well enough for me. Uh, certainly understanding this is not going to be a perfect fix. Uh, this house was built in 1960, I believe. And if this had been set up originally uh, with a shower and done the right way, just fine still. Uh, even in the best case, I don't think uh, this fix is going to make 50 or 60 years like, you know, like done correctly. With it. But if it gets us by, I, I think that'll be good enough for me. Uh, I need to get some gloves on and get this JB weld ready and we'll put it on there. So I got a chunk cut off and basically what it says is, you know, take it out of the package. And I don't know if you can really tell in the video, but there's two parts to it and you start doing it together by hand. So I'm going to start doing that. Uh, this is why I put the gloves on. It's pretty firm stuff. Uh, I don't know that it's horribly caustic, uh, but these gloves are so cheap and I would buy them out of the box for other projects. So, hey, why not? Uh, I'm going to try to get it to this nice uniform, evenly mixed color, which I think is easier said than done. I think even though I just bought it, it must have been sitting on the shelf for a few years. Last time I used this, I don't remember it being this dry. Anyway, we're just going to have to forgo the gloves. And this may not be the best of ideas, but... I am. Colton says he wants to come join in, so we'll get him for a cameo at the end here. starting to approach <laughs> a pretty good mix there and it's getting pretty tacky even though I still see some swirling in the colors. Um, Hello! Alright, but Colton, hold on, we'll get you the cameo at the end. I gotta do this quickly before this sets up. So I'm gonna try to work this kind of thing. Talk about me and I'll film, silly. Roll bead around that. And then a roll bead on the inside of our flange. What we've got is a bit of a lip back here. It's not much of one, but I'm really kind of hoping. took this outside and used some brake cleaner to degrease it. I took some alcohol and wiped down the uh, pipe itself. I'm Colton, my little helper, and I think might be causing more problems and I don't know what we can help with. Screws ready to go. Let's start it here. Let's get started. I've got such limited working time with that epoxy putty. I really got to hurry here. And it's too bad you're not big enough to really help me. I can't wait till you're like a teenager. Time, I'm going to use the cordless drill to run these down quickly. 
what we've got there. Um, it ought to work well enough and then that cover is going to hide that. This is going to have to cure a bit. I'm sure every uh, older guy that I learned from that taught me anything, guys that knew a lot, are probably rolling over in their graves seeing my job here, but that's what I'm going to go with. Daddy. You know, quick and easy and we'll be out of here and then when we Daddy. actually do a remodel then we can worry about doing Daddy. it right. And I think we're pretty squared. You know, as far as angle in the shower, so I think that'll work well enough. Things never go, I guess, exactly as planned. Um, this was the original, you know, beauty ring cover. And I knew it wasn't deep enough or big enough around, so I had picked up this uh, larger one that really is meant to fit like it around a drain pipe. The only problem with it, you know, is the inner uh, diameter of the hole is way too big. So I had planned to stack it on top. Well, what I didn't account for was my bead of the epoxy was too thick for this to sit flush. So what I ended up doing was picking up, uh, and I went to test fit it, but this is uh, just a different style, basically the same thing. It's a little deeper. It's still not big enough diameter on its own to cover. Uh, but unlike this one, it doesn't have a set screw to hold it. It's a friction fit, and I really had to work it on there, so I thought I'd just leave it. But basically what we ended up with behind there is the epoxy. I let it set up overnight, even though it, uh, I think so it's a, a one-hour set time on it. Uh, it. It's really pretty stout. Uh, so I've got the rings on there. That'll work well enough, and now I need to put on the shower head. And this shower doesn't get used a whole lot, uh, I kind of left it alone 
you know, without loose pipe for a long time, you know, since we've uh, originally bought the house. But I got a larger, you know, with a hose shower head, and I thought that extra weight might turn out to be an issue. There's obviously plenty of Teflon tape on this pipe already, and really I don't know that it's needed here uh, at all, since this is a plastic fitting with a rubber o-ring in the bottom. Should uh, should seal plenty well, even without the tip on. But since it was on there, no sense in trying to take it off. So I'll try to set that up basically level there. And this is a rather cheap one. It's a plastic fitting with an O-ring in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to plastic, so it really should seal without any Teflon tape. If this were metal to metal, I would probably put some Teflon tape or uh, liquid Teflon pipe sealant on there. But I think this will be okay as it is. see what it does. Besides cutting out back here, we actually have to go all the way down the wall behind to wherever you know the issue with the pipe it caused um, might have ended up. So I don't know. Fairly, fairly quick and easy to do. Um, you know, just that bracket, some drywall screws, and some of that JD Weld epoxy putty around there to hold it. Um, I mean, certainly not the right way, but it does seem to work well enough and keeps me from digging into the wall. Maybe if we ever get around to remodeling this bathroom, then we'll worry about doing it the right way at that time. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. What? <laughs> <laughs> you. That's <was> a funny. <laughs> <laughs>